Hi, welcome to YOH Crochet. My name is Anita, and today I went to Cranberry Fest. So what Cranberry Fest is, is it is a massive, massive um, festival. It lasts three days long, and there are all kinds of vendors and booths, craft booths, flea markets, farmer's markets, food trucks, uh, your your typical carnival type food, you know, your deep fried corn dogs, frozen cheesecake on a stick, cheese curds, all kinds of stuff. And then you got like, um, like food stuff, um, you know, like you take home and prepare like they have, um, uh, beef sticks, sausage, um, these soup mixes that you just throw in a crock pot and add water to and all kinds of stuff. So, they, it's actually throughout the whole town. They close off the main, the main roads in the town, and it's all up and down the sides of the main road, um, all up and down the side roads. If there's empty lots, it's all throughout the empty lots. Booths everywhere. It's, it's crazy. It's, people have gone and spent two days there, and they still have not been able to get through everything. So, we were only ended up there, we got there at 9 a.m., and... Um, the girl I went with, I was under the impression it was going to be, you know, we were going to stay till they closed up at five, but all of a sudden she's saying, oh, we're going to, cause they had a parade today. And I'm like, well, how's this going to work with the parade? Cause everyone's sitting in the sidewalks on their chairs. How are we going to walk around and go to all the booths? Cause I don't want to sit and watch the parade. I don't care about the parade. I'm there for the shopping. Right. And she's like, oh, that's why we're leaving. I'm like, what? It's noon. We've only been here for three hours. We're leaving? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I wish I would have known that because I was being conservative with my money because I'm like, well, it's early. There's still so much to see. I don't want to blow all my money right away. So I hadn't hardly purchased anything for myself. I purchased stuff for Miko. I had purchased some Christmas gifts, but I'm like, okay, all right. So I found a few um, booths that we were as we were on our way out and I made a few purchases. Um, I probably spent more money on some of the items that I should have, but I'm like, whatever, you know, that's not like I'm going to look at anything else. Oh, and as we were walking around, there is a yarn shop there that they have open like the whole year. And so I went in there. My niece was kind enough to point it out to me. <laughs> She knows me so well. Yes, yeah, so, because my niece came with me, and I went with a co-worker and one of her friends. Okay, so you want to see what I ended up getting? Okay, we will see. Okay, so the first thing, they had all kinds of, um, well, not all kinds, but I saw, like, two or three, at least, um, booths of stuff for pets, like pet treats. Um, some places had um, hand-made um, pet treats, like people made them themselves, but I think they probably bought what I got at this place from a supplier, I'm assuming. So we have, this is so cute, the packaging is cute. So we have a bark bar, a cookie bar for dogs, and it's so cute. So it's peanut butter and carob chip. And then, this is adorable too, it's a churro. A churro for, a bacon churro for dogs. Yeah. I can't believe Miko is not running down here to come check this out. We'll give them to him later. Um, okay, and then the second purchase I made was this um, diamond painting, LED light. It's a sugar skull, so I think that'll be really pretty with a light behind it. Looking forward to doing that. And this is going to be for, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it up and gift it to someone. I'm not sure. Um, and then, I think, oh, and then my niece was looking at something at the same place that I got this, and she's like, I don't know if I want to spend my money so early, I don't know, I don't know if I should get this or not, and so, um, she, we, when we were in the next booth down that we stopped in, I left her, I'm like, I'll be right back, you know, I gotta, I gotta I'm gonna run over across across the way real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. She's like, okay. So I went and I got it for her and it's going to be one of her Christmas presents. 
So even if she suspects that I got it, I'm hoping she'll forget about it. And then when Christmas comes around, she'll be surprised. But it's this wallet. And they, this was the last day. Sunday was the last day. And it was priced at $24. And they ended up giving it to me for, it was either 10 or 15 It might have been 15 It might have been 10 I don't remember. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's got a little strap. So, yeah, she, I'm hoping she'll be very surprised. So, that was that. And they did actually, too, they had a booth that did have hand-dyed yarn in it. Um, I passed because it was, like I said, early, early in the day, and there was still so much to see, and I didn't want to blow all my money right away, you know. But and then it was shortly after we passed that we I left that yarn booth that they had said, Oh, we're gonna be leaving. I'm like, Oh, okay. I wish somebody would have said something sooner because I was under the impression we were staying like all day, but it is what it is. Okay, and then next I think the yarn came next. The yarn shop that my niece started. Now I don't I would have taken some video in the store, but I feel really weird video tape, videotaping in shops and stuff. Um, I did take a little bit of, oh, this hank came undone, a little bit of a video um, as we were walking down the road. It's not very long. I'll probably pop it in at the end. The band completely came off too. Okay, so this shop had hand-dyed yarns, and it also had... Um, um, like some big box name brand like Burnett and Red Heart and what else? I think I even saw like a, some, a few Caron cakes there, but things were kind of not, they didn't seem organized the best, you know? And I was having a problem. Taylor, my niece and I both were having a problem. It's like whenever we wanted to stop and look at something, my coworker and her friend just wouldn't stop and wait for us. They just, they were, they were gone. And, and then I had to search for them. So that kind of happened when I was in the yarn shop and I was trying to be quick, but there was so much in there. I was overwhelmed. Um, but yeah, that happened when I, when I stopped at the yarn shop and then Taylor likes, um, like crystals and stuff and gems and rocks. And anytime we, I stopped for her at something she wanted to look at. It was the same thing. I mean, it would have been different if they just would have, you know, kind of went like a, a few booths down, like within, stayed within sight or, you know, go to the end of the aisle of the booths and just kind of hang out there and wait for us. But I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, I had to call them once to see where they were because I could not find them anywhere. So anyway, they also had, um, at the shop, they had um, some ice yarns. I think, did I say did I say they had ice yarns? I don't remember. But they had, like, a lot of stuff that I can't buy, like, in town at Walmart or even at Michael's or Joanne's, you know. So, I got, all these bands are coming off. I got three of these uh, Cascade Yarn um, Sunseeker. Very pretty blue and a little bit of sparkle in there. And it is... Let's see, 237 yards, machine wash, tumble dry, 47% cotton, 48% acrylic, 5% metallic, and it's it's fairly soft cotton. Um, it doesn't have a yarn weight on there, unless it's hiding, but I would say it's probably a three, maybe. Yeah, I would say it's probably a three, so I got three of those. So hopefully I can find something decent to do with that. I think it's pretty. Um, I don't think it had a color on it either. I don't think so. But they were $8.99 a piece. I did spend nothing really that I got. I didn't really see anything on sale in this yarn shop, but I still wanted oh, come on, it's yarn. I still wanted to buy. And then I got this huge ball of Burnett handicrafter cotton. So it's just like your, you know, your kitchen cotton. But I thought, you know, I could make a couple of bags out of this or something. They didn't have very many colors to pick from that I could find. They had this in one other color. And this was 11 
and this is the color lemon lime and it is 340 grams 608 yards so that's 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 a good amount of cotton right there so i'm happy with that i mean those itty bitty you know lily sugars and cream or peaches and cream there's hardly nothing on those skeins and then this is super super soft i wanted to get two of these but I only got one. I really should have gotten a second. But this is Bernat Forever Fleece Finer. And I've never seen this before. It's super, super soft. This is the color Unicorn. And again, I only saw this one color of this. Well, I saw this one and then I saw a solid color. Um, and this is 100% polyester. That's why it's so soft. I would say it's probably even a little bit softer than uh, Feels Like Butter. Um, so we got 280 grams, 385 yards, and yeah, I'm assuming it's machine wash. It doesn't say, but I mean, I, I made a, um, cardigan out of, um, Red Heart Amore, which is very, it's a hundred percent polyester as well. And I throw that in the washer and dryer all the time. Speaking of which, I was wearing that cardigan today, and one of the places I was uh, standing for my niece waiting, because she was in this tiny, tiny little booth, and I didn't want to look at anything in there. It was kind of like, she likes like the, the witchy Wiccan type and crystals, and it was one of those types of booths. I'm like, well, it's really, look, there's not much space in here. I'm going to wait out over there for you. And she's like, okay. And I happened to be standing outside uh, a lady who had crochet stuff in her booth and she looked at me she's like did you make that that sweater um or no she's like I like your sweater I'm like oh thanks and she's like did you make that I'm like yeah she's like oh it looks really nice I'm like oh it was the first cardigan I ever made so yeah that was kind of fun okay and then I got two of these cascade pinwheel this is a very very pretty purple and you can see it's got a little bit of a halo and so we got some marl going on there and this is 100% acrylic. It's not the softest, but I think maybe it'll soften up when you wash it, like a lot of things do. 100% um, acrylic, 200 grams. <coughs> Excuse me. Still getting over a cold. 440 yards. And does it have a color name on it? That doesn't look like it has a color name. It just says color number 16. So I got two of those. So that was my yarn purchase, and I really could have spent, I spent, like I said, nothing was on sale. These were uh, $10.79, but I mean, I can't look at this stuff around by me. I don't have a yarn shop in my town, and yeah, I mean, this place was an hour away. I'm not going to get there again, so I'm like, whatever, I'll buy some. I don't care. And I wanted to get some a few things that I couldn't get, you know, by me. And my total was seventy eight fifty eight. Yeah. Like I said, I was trying to find stuff that was on sale or that was on clearance, but new dice. I was not so lucky. Okay, and so um, we had a few snacks. I got my niece an order of cheese curds, and I got myself an order of deep fried cheese curds, and then I got her a monkey tail, which is a frozen chocolate covered banana on a stick. I don't know if you guys are familiar with monkey tails. And I got myself a chocolate covered cheesecake, frozen cheesecake on a stick, and it was very tasty. And, um, oh, so then. Um, she wanted to go look. She was pretty much out of money at this point. And, hi, Miko. You want to try this later? Miko came down. So then, um, after they said we were leaving, um, oh, the candle. That's what I forgot. I think I left it over here. Yep. Um, when they said we were leaving, I'm like, well, okay. Um, we passed this booth. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep my eye out for anything that catches my eye on the way out. Because I bought the yarn and that diamond painting thing. And a few things for Miko and that thing for Taylor. And that was about it. 
but I saw these candles, right? And I'm like, oh my God, those are such, those candles are so cute. And Jess is like, go ahead, you go look real quick. I'm like, okay. <gasps> oh no, it looks like it broke. <gasps> oh, how sad. Oh no, it broke. Oh. But look at how cute. It's a Starbucks candle, and it has a little straw in it, and it's all glittery, and it's got chocolate, and it broke. Look how sad right there. It broke, and there's a big crack right there. Oh, that makes me so sad because I was going to save the container. <sighs> no. It smells, it's a hazelnut latte, and it smells so good. So that, that really sucks. Darn it. Yeah, so I got that on the way out. And then Taylor saw this clothing store with this dress in front that she wanted to go look at real quick. I knew she didn't have the money. I think she knew she probably didn't have enough money, but she wanted to go look anyway. And um, I went over with her and um, I ended up going back and getting this for her for Christmas too. So it's this black dress that she really, really wanted. It's very, it's um, a full length skirt. See, very pretty. So hopefully she will be happy. And then she came home and she was telling her dad, she's like, there was this dress I really, really wanted, but I was out of money. And so she'll get that for Christmas. It's a little damp because we got rained upon for a little bit. And I think the dress got um, rained on when it was hanging up at the, at the vendor thing. I'm really disappointed that candle is broken. And then I also, oh, and then when I went back by her and my coworker, they, and they were by a Scentsy booth. And I, I typically don't go in the Scentsy booths cause you know, they're kind of pricey. Their stuff is kind of pricey and everything. Um, but they were there and I looked up and I saw a Baby Yoda, a Grogu, um, wax warmer. I'm like, oh my God, it's Baby Yoda. And then I looked over a couple over to the left. There was an Oogie Boogie one. I'm like, oh my God, it's Oogie Boogie. Which one do I want? And the lady said, Oogie Boogie lights up. So I went with Oogie Boogie. So I will take it out of the box and show you. And it's not for you, honey. And uh, I will maybe um, plug it in so it's lit up and um, maybe take a picture for you. It's not for you. So. So it's like um, Oogie Boogie's Casino. What you want to play in the box? Right, so. Does this not come? Okay, yeah, yeah there's a light bulb in there. See, so isn't that adorable? And then it also has this little thing that goes on top. Let me get it out here. If you knock that down, I'm going to be upset. Hi, this is not food, Goober. Oop. So it has this metal, metal piece, and it goes on the top like that. See? And I'm not sure where exactly he lights up. Maybe his eyes. Um, and then, where did I put? I lost a piece. Oh, there it is. There's the light bulb. Let us stick that in there. And the tray for the wax is right here. And it's a purple, and it's got the bugs, bugs on it. That's cute. So then you just put your wax in there and go to town and yeah I'll, I'm gonna plug it in and see exactly where it lights up and stuff Hi, Nico. Oh, see, so there's that. and then I ended up going back to the place where I got Taylor's dress and I this is where I got my last item and this again this too is pricey actually that wax warmer was more expensive than my last purchase I don't even want to tell you how much it was I should not have spent that much on it but I got Let's move this back a little bit. I try to stand up and show you. I actually got what I'm wearing at that. Hey, Miko, get. Uh, leave the tripod alone. Um, so I got this like 
long duster cardigan and look at the sleeves it's split it's got the lace and it's got lace trim on the front see that the lace trim and then it's long very very long stand up yes it's very long I love it you can't even it comes down like past my knees I got that so yeah um that's everything I got um, I'm very excited I can't wait for Christmas to get Taylor her dress and her wallet um, oh there's this one place um, my coworkers um, daughter she had she had her daughter with too and she let her daughter do this but they had this bucket of water and it had oysters in it and so what they did is they had you pick an oyster and then they opened it right there and they dug out the pearl and then they had all these different pendants um, earrings um, all these different jewelry pieces that they could go ahead and put it in for you right away so that was kind of cool you know to get to see them take the pearl out of the oyster um yes it was lots of fun I want to go back next year but I want to go for the whole day I don't want to go for just like three hours you know I probably spent too much money and Miko do you want one of your treats now you want one of your treats let's see how he likes it huh what is this what is this is a cookie bar a cookie bar you want it he's like yes please are you crazy lady? Of course they want it. Do you want the whole thing or should we just give you half? How about half? Oh, I can't break it in half. There, you want that? Look at it. It's so cute. He's like, what are you doing? Give it. Give it. He says, give it. You want it? Can you give me a five? Hey, give me five. You stand up. <laughs> Here, give me five. Give me five. Can you wave goodbye? Wave goodbye. Here. See, Miko? Wave. No, just one wave. One wave. I just want one. I just want one paw. One paw. One paw. One paw. Okay, good enough. Here, takes it. Okay, on that note, bye. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to go back again next year. And I'm going to save up uh, money specifically just for yarn, I think, for that yarn shop. Because that was cool. And I really should have taken some video of that shop for you guys. But like I said, I just feel weird doing that. Okay, well, again, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.